What's going on, my Tapped Out Auto fans? How y'all doing today? Well, I promised one of my viewers that I was going to give him a code start on this old pickup truck today. And I don't like to, you know, I don't lie. You know, I just, uh, I like to keep my promises and everything. So, Gearhead, here it is. This is the 1974 Ford F100. This is the one that owns it. Ah. Uh, Jesus Christ, look at all the bugs on this damn thing. Murdered yeah, murdered some bugs. It's got the 360 slash 390 in it. Right, let's get this motherfucker a code start. And actually, it's kind of fucking nipply out here. Alright. Now, usually, if this was a fucking Chevrolet, You'd have to be in here 20 fucking minutes fucking stopping on the goddamn gas pedal fucking goddamn praying for this motherfucker to start. But on a Ford, usually about, eh, a couple pumps. Fires right up.
manifolds are uh, leaking. I don't hear nothing. I think it's your exhaust down on the bottom is echoing up. Uh, 
hard to see. Going on the passenger side, believe me, for the exhaust. Fix that. Both, but it, at least your uh, intake manifolds are not, or uh, your exhaust manifolds are not leaking. I didn't hear any noise. Man, this damn thing echoes like hell. I didn't hear anything coming out of that head like that. I know you can see it, but yeah, you can't, you can't really tell it's nothing. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I think. And to me, they look this one that's cleaner than this part. You know what I mean? Right. Like that might have been replaced one. Right. You got your blue yoke come out, you know what I mean? That dark blue paint. Nope. Well, that's down better. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Look at there. The goddamn cigarette lighter in this thing still works. Well, you don't get that in a Chevrolet. Hey. Awesome. All right. Cool. You want to come in with me, Cracker, for a second? Oh yeah, oh yes. I'm up. Hi. I was gonna. I was thinking about buying a lawnmower yesterday, brand new. But that was a fucking lawnmower is expensive, and there was one at Walmart that was a hundred and sixty-nine damn dollars. Well, I decided not to get it. It came home, and Mikey found this little gym in the garbage. And what's screwed up about this? And this thing looks identical like the one at Walmart that they wanted $169 for. So we're going to see if we can't get this thing r running. We're going to see if we can't resurrect this thing from the scrap. And then we got to get that damn motor out of that fucking Buick today. That's got to be done today. That's just going to suck. Alright guys, we're going to get uh, some shit going on and uh, um, be right back. Alright guys, we got our bag of boats. Check this shit out. Somebody left their damn toddler in the car. That kid's in that car by her money by himself, fellas. Eating that cheeseburger by her damn self. What the fuck is wrong with people? I cannot believe they left that little girl in the damn car by herself. What in the hell is wrong with parents? They wonder why their damn kid gets kidnapped. Right. They left that kid in the damn car by herself. What the hell's going on with this world, people? Look at this clusterfuck. What the fuck? Look at this shit. <laughs> right? People look at me like I'm trying to fucking start a damn insurance claim. Oh, just a YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, this is some. And look, there is nobody fucking working. Yes, I know it's a Sunday, but still. Okay. I have to remember there's an extra two feet of my damn on the back of this truck, and there fucking is on mine. Yeah, it's a good pull right out in front of me. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to turn down that street. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do, you got to go wide with this fucking thing. It's like a semi. <laughs> Damn, sure you got the steering wheel for it. Yeah, she don't like to turn sharp. She no, really she gotta turn to somebody else's light. And 
probably. As he walks that dog. That's Carly's fucking oh. stuff that he works with. That's her bad. And then they got that goofy fuck around the corner here. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, fuck. Jeffrey's back. Uh, Just got back. Alright, guys. I'll be on going that ride. I still can't believe them people left their damn kid in the fucking car. Some people's kids, I tell you. Whoa, now! Brit, fucking she, park! She was in a reverse. Alright, now, we'll be right back. Now, right, guys, here in a little bit, we're gonna see and see what the uh, It's getting fire, but it's not getting sparky. It seems like it's a pretty new lawnmower. So, we're gonna fuck with that a little bit later. Trailer's done. We just, uh, just decided to put some nuts and bolts in it. Screw it. They don't, don't think it's going to need to be welded. They get the motor out of the Buick. I was excited. But yeah, we're going to put some weight in this thing. And I think I'm going to put that motor in there. But I don't know if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. So guys, I'll be on here in a little bit. Got to charge up the old fucking battery. Later, guys. Alright, guys, we are back. It's been quite some time. Big kind of a, a slow Sunday. Yeah, but we're checking out this lawnmower. I pulled out these three screws already out of here. And I was like, oh, shit. I got my uh, YouTube fam. Sorry about that. But here's the screws. Eight millimeter. Uh, this thing's got spark. I had a Mikey pull on it and stuff like that. And it's got spark. Oh. I don't know why it's not running, but I don't want to fucking sit here and be cranking on it all fucking day, so that looks pretty crusty. So I'm going to clean that all up, get a socket that fits that, and then I'm going to get my air gun and blah, do it that way. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright guys, well, figured out that I can just pull the carburetor right off. Uh, Get it back here. This little plastic piece here popped off the side of it, but I don't think that's really nothing. I got me a tray here. This right here uh, found in a lady's house that passed away. Her dad was a, uh, or not her dad, her husband was a, uh, worked for Kodak, developing film. And these were the old uh, trays and stuff that they used to develop and film. Got the little spot over here where you can easily drain out the water and shit. And, uh, yeah, they work great for this shit. So, we're going to see. This carburetor, yeah, um, it just pulled right off. I thought there was something else I had to do to it or something else. But, no, it just, it just pulled right off. Alright. What we're going to do first is we're going to see. Okay, so that is nasty looking as hell. But, it is... Dumping out gas. So, put that in here. Alright, so, I think it looks like it's been sitting for a little while. A little plastic carburetor. Ain't that some junk shit? I didn't see down here on the bottom. It has a little Allen wrench, which I don't know how the hell you would get to it unless you take the carburetor off. That little Allen wrench where you can drain the gas out of it. That's pretty cool. I don't, still don't know how the hell you would get to it. But it looks like it's a 7 millimeter. The gasket here looks pretty good shape. Hey, 2015. Now, if I pay $200 for a lawnmower, I, I don't expect it to last forever. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know... I figured at least are the last, you know, 10 years is a lawnmower. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's full of gas. Huh. I don't know, guys. This damn thing looks pretty clean. 
Confused. There. I don't know exactly what the hell I'm doing. That looks like a little check ball. Ooh, and that check ball does feel like it's a little rusty. Check ball feels like it's a little crusty. So we need to get this. So we might have found the issue, guys. I'll show y'all real quick as soon as I find the damn. Here we go. Just gonna use some brake clean, parts cleaner. See, there's a little ball right here. When I tried to push that in with the pliers, it uh, felt like it was awfully crusty. Now, do I think, do I know if this is what's wrong with it? No. I know that things shouldn't feel crusty. We got some air here. shit that came out of this thing guys there was a lot of dirty well I mean there's not much to this thing I mean there's absolutely not let's pull this uh, pin out of here should be a spring probably gonna shoot that at me Ooh. no okay Okay, there's a seat, so let's blow this out real good. Let's put a little love in there. Oh yeah, see that? It's coming out nicely. Okay. Kind of odd there's not a spring. There is no spring. So what the hell? How does this work, guys? Does this spring back and forth? Or supposed to? Is that the problem? This thing piece right here is supposed to spring. This right here is supposed to spring back and forth because there wasn't no spring in it. Is that the issue? Let me check this out. Let me be right back, guys.
took me a minute to figure it out, guys, but I just figured it out really weird. So instead of a spring, and I just figured this out, so I'm taking it back apart. This little thing right here slides on this little groove right here. And this, guess the float is the spring and all one assembly. And when I pull this thing apart, That fucker was not in its groove. Shit. Oh, I found it. I found it. There we go. So, that's weird. That's really weird, but a lot of junk did come out of this thing, but let's see. Oh yeah, that's really weird. Works. Alright. That that fucking gas is really nasty. Holy shit, that fucking tasted like turpentine. I'll clean this thing out real good. We'll slap this puppy back together and see if we can't get it to run. Then I would save myself a whopping 200 bucks. That I don't have. Because Walmart is 45 minutes away from me. Actually, I'll be spending more than that. That's actually be spending about 230 because my girl loves Burger King, so we'd have to stop at Burger King, get some Burger King. And then, that's only if she doesn't want to stop any damn where else. Yeah. So, $230 would be the cheapest I would get out of. But, pretty simple carburetor. I have to say, pretty simple, pretty simple. So we know that this works. This. So that goes under there. So this would go right here. Let's put this thing go here. Yeah, right here. I'm fucking no idea what the hell this is for. I mean, it's just a cap hole. Cap hole. Maybe an overflow. I bet that's what it is. I bet it's an overflow. Okay, guys, I'm going to switch y'all around and we're going to put this back on. Alright, guys, we're over here. Just went ahead and clicked the, put the gas tank on like you'll see me take it off. And then it just slides right on here. It gets real easy. And then... Carburetor, and it just oh well. Yeah, I'm uh, I am going a little bit too far here. We're gonna pull this gas tank back up. I'm saying it just comes right up. We got this little throttle arm here. You gotta stick that on here. Run no more than you know a year. 
I guess it was over top like that. And this just slides right on, just like that. That's it. It's installed. Yeah, probably can't see shit because my knee's in the way, but yeah, I can't really see a damn thing because it's dark today. Got a bunch of cloud over. And we're just going to take this damn piece. And we're just going to put this right in here. What the fuck? Okay, hang on a minute, guys. I can't see shit. Alright, I finally got it. Get it. Awfully dark in here in the old dirty boys' lair. Alright, it's all working good. Everything should be getting there. So now we can put this plastic piece back on there. I say, guys, everything just. It's so cheaply made, it just snaps and pops back on. Eight millimeter goes on both sides here. Like that. I'm hoping y'all guys got good lighting with the camera because I can't see shit. I mean, it's terrible in here today. Now, if this lawnmower doesn't start, guys, then I don't know. I'm going to debate on whether I'm going to junk it. Uh, there's a couple kids around here and stuff like that. I don't know uh, of them, but, uh, you know, they, I might just uh, you know, have you get this running, give you 20 bucks, you know. That would be cool, but... Uh, I don't know. I say, uh, I don't get into lawnmowers. I've seen this guy one time. Man, I'm like, I ain't bullcrap with you. This guy must have spent three whole days on this really nice push mower. I mean, it was self-propelled, you know, one of them walk behind and stuff like that. Had a nice bagger on it and stuff. And it got fire too, you know. He was firing it off too and stuff. And, it's like, oh yeah, there should there be no problem getting this thing running. And uh, he spent like three whole days, something like that, working on that damn thing. And uh, yeah, guys, still could not get that damn lawnmower running. Um, I don't know what the lawnmower's problem of it was, or what. And I think I just put this boat in her own damn home. I did. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, uh, you know, I never checked the line more out with the guy and stuff like that, but, you know, uh, I was saying I'm working on other small engines and stuff, and, you know, don't know if he just got lucky getting them running or what, but after I seen him spend three whole days working on that line more, and that damn thing still wouldn't run, and it's happened to a couple other people I know too, just, you know, not that extreme. Um, I, I guess decided no. So this 8mm bow here goes on the outside of the carburetor. Or the, uh, I shouldn't say carburetor, I should call it the air filter housing. Now, could it have water in the bow from sitting all winter? And it's just sucking up water. Who knows? The bowl here, the bowl here seemed like it worked pretty good. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. So, we're going to check it out. This, uh, I doubt it, but maybe this damn, I know the spark plug's good. I can go out there and put this spark plug on my rider out there and get my ride lawnmower going again. That would be cool, so even if I don't score a push mower, I can get my rider going again. Now, I would be using that one to uh, mow grass with, but... 
I'm having a hard time finding a belt for that one. I'm having a hard time finding a belt for that one. Alright guys, we have two more 7mm screws. And then we can see if we got it. Hopefully we do. You don't, that sucks. But it just takes just a little bit of dirt to get plugged up in them holes. And these guts won't work. Alright. That was the last clip. So I'm going to get the air here. We're still going to use the old impact here to turn it over. Hopefully it fires up. That would be cool as shit. some bullshit. So it's getting fire. I don't see any reason why it's not getting gas. So why ain't it starting? fire, getting fuel, why it's starting. Let me know in the comments. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm considering it garbage. Got some damn good tires on it, stuff like that. I don't see what the hell. I mean, it should be a fairly simple process, just gas and fire and it should run, right? Well, it's getting gas, it's getting fire, but it's not running. Seems like the compression is a little low in it, though, and stuff like that, so maybe it just doesn't have enough compression for it to fire off. But that just sucks. The piston ring's already fucking fried out in that thing, and it's only lasted four summers. That sucks, especially for up here. Those things are junk. But, yeah, I'm just calling it shot. Alright guys, I think that's going to be the end of the big hits for today. I'm going to go out and see if that spark plug though will fit into the wheel horse. And if it does, cool. 
But I am going to keep this for a little bit and stuff like that because it does got a good body on it. Maybe I'll find another one that's got a good motor and a shitty body. Who knows? Alright guys, later. Alright guys, well the spark plug did fit in that one, but that one don't run neither. So, I don't know, they're getting fuel, they're getting fired, they're not running, I have no uh, clue. Um, how much gas does this one have? I need to go down and pick up the uh, paperwork to send that other motor back. Well, I tell you what, I sure did give them the old. Uh, I put that gas in it. I'll take this one. Uh, well, I did tell you what, I sure did give them the old ass chewing the other day. Because, I mean, come on, two months? I was waiting for an engine. Then they gave me the wrong damn engine. After they made the fun of Jasper giving me the wrong damn engine. And then when they do send me an engine, it's exactly what Jasper gave me. Fucking wrong. I don't know what the hell. Alright guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna go get that piece of paper, probably run to the store and get some candy. And uh Talk to y'all guys later. Be sure and share, like, and subscribe.